Hey everyone, welcome back. So, let me try to adjust this for you. Sorry. Uh, this here is what I'm going to be working on today. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the viewfinder to see. Uh, basically, I'll have this uh, mounted here to the to this block of wood and uh, clamp down so I can grind on this uh, this cutting edge that I've got marked out here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, yeah, probably. Anyhow, I've got it, uh, some uh, dicom fluid laid out here. Um, I'm not going to try to grind the, uh, the back swedge yet, but I want to try to get as much of this as I can on each of these knives. Now I have... Ouch. I have three of these, so... Well, I had made four. One is finished. Here's where I started grinding on the angle grinder, or the little belt grinder there, belt sander thing, and it's just laborious. It's, so I'm going to try with the angle grinder with a, a flap disc, like a 40 grit or something. So I might as well start with this one here since it's already started, basically. And I'm just going to clamp it up here on this block of wood. and. So I've got something strong connecting to it. Hopefully it doesn't go sliding around much. Yeah, it should work, sort of. Uh, I was looking for uh, another clamp to see if, uh, if I could get Put the smaller one back here on it so that I can uh, clamp clamp it down a little stronger so that it doesn't you know spin or turn or whatever. So I got a piece of steel bolted to the bench or you know clamped to the bench and then I've got this block of wood clamped to it and oh yeah it's nice and strong. All right, so I hope you can still see this okay. Yep. All right, I'm going to grab the angle grinder, and I'm going to start cutting. I'm going to have to stand up for this, so. And be aware that this is going to be extremely loud, so you might want to start adjusting your sound levels now. All right, here we go. Well, that seems to be one uh, bell there, and that went pretty fast, so I'm not exactly sure if I got it, you know, the angle correct or not, because it's really hard to see with the, uh, looking over at the side, you know, you have to have light shining directly on it, kind of keep up, that's why working on a, 
you know, belt grinders <laughs> much easier. All right, let's take a look. Right to the bubble line. That's perfect. Basically, the rest of it I could literally touch up with a uh, with uh, one of my files here, and it would uh, bring that uh, bevel to absolutely flat and perfect. That's a that's a winner. That's that'll work awesome, and it'll uh, shave freaking hours and hours of grinding time off. So that's cool. That was like what a minute two minutes three minutes whatever that's pretty cool i left it a little thick here at the tip though so it's uh, i don't have to worry about uh i can get that with a file and you know make it you know absolutely perfect damn that's awesome all right so now i'm going to reclamp this down and uh we'll uh We'll see what I can do. Oh, here, here's a little tip for you. Right now at Harbor Freight, they've got these uh, clamps. Uh, I can't remember the model number right off the top of my head. It's like 614150 or something like that. Um, it's a clamp. They have these really nice rubber. These are like rubber rubber. These aren't like like uh like the plastic ones um and i'll tell you what these this is one of the best clamps i've ever used in <laughs> so far ever um that grips so strong and it's it will catch like micro adjustments it's not like those other ones that they sell that you know you have to get like a half inch you know movement on it to to lock it to the next position and then they don't stick for anything. <coughs> These are on sale right now for like $3.19 a piece. Um, trust me, these are the best clamps I've ever used of these uh, nice, you know, instant ones. I like these better than the Ur ones or the whatever, you know, the blue ones or whatever. These are awesome. I'll, uh, I'll put in the description what clamp this is, or what the model number is. But like I said, right now at uh, Harbor Freight, they're like three dollars and nineteen cents a piece. Well worth every single cent. These things clamp like nobody's business. Super great. Yeah, I could pull my whole bench off with with that one clamp. Now I am going to put this other clamp on it just to lock the blade in place from uh, uh, moving around so the blade doesn't, you know, shift on that block. Oh, shit. A little bit too close to the grinding line there. All right, nice and solid. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. All right, let's uh, grab this other bevel. And see what's up.
a little hard to see sometimes the uh, the uh, the way the the light glares on this edge here. Uh, I can't quite see the the actual like cutting edge, how thick it is or anything. So. Actually, I think this is one of those clamps right here. It's a Pittsburgh ratchet bar clamp, spreader, six inch. Um, I think this is the same one. Looks it. Let's see if I can find the number on this. Nope, that's a different number. This one here is 62122. And that's definitely not the. Yeah, see, this one here is getting stuck. This looks almost identical to it. But... Huh. Maybe this one's just dirty, crapped up, or something. Neat. No, this is different. See, the pads on it are different. These are like. Hard nylon pads on it, these things. This is definitely not the same one. Yeah, don't get this one. This one's complete pain. All right, let's get this knife up and take a look at that edge real quick. Hmm. clamp should have a little sticker right there telling what it is but apparently not all right so that side needs to oh I see I ground back too far on it this one here is supposed to stop right there well I kind of messed that up but I got about the thickness of a, a nickel maybe a thickness of a quarter left here I will take us down to almost a cutting edge. Uh, there's no point in making it like super sharp because like I said, it's a throwing knife and it's just mild steel from uh, Lowe's. It's, you know, you get like a four foot bar for like 10 bucks or something. Um, it's just for learning to use a throwing knife practice. That's it. Anyway, so that's super awesome. Uh, later on I will just uh, clamp this down here and uh, take one of my good cutting files and uh, stick it on there and see how well it uh, cuts. Alright everyone, I really appreciate you joining me today so you all have a great day and try to enjoy your week. I'll see you all later. Take care now.